so nice to Thank see you. you again. Thank you. How are you. Well, this is a great opportunity to kind of support an effort that gives animals a second chance on life. Most of them came from abuse situations, mm -hmm. um, neglect, or Aww. injuries that needed rehabilitation. So they get a second chance, and at the same time, they become used for education for kids, and the kids learn to care for animals, learn respect for right. animals. And uh, they can be sponsored, and all of them are listed for sponsoring. So for Mother's Day, if you want to give your mama a llama, <laughs> a horse, okay, give your mama a llama. I uh, love and, it. Uh, this, tell us about this little. This is a mini. What this a is a miniature horse. horse. Yeah. So this is a, the smallest in. They've been selectively bred down in size. They originated to work in mines underground, <gasps> and they were kept in royal stables. They weigh about 14 pounds when they're born, 15 pounds, so you can hold them in your arms. But remember, when you see a foal yeah. after an 11 month gestation. Yeah. When it's born, it's, it's not going to stay that small. Yeah. So, but as a registered mature miniature yeah. horse, they have to be under 36 inches, say 34 inches at the withers, which is measured right here and at the what's, shoulder. What's, what and this is here? a miniature donkey. Oh, Same sweet. thing, oh. red down Jupiter. in size. All the donkeys and burros originate from wild asses in in Africa. No. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna. What's next? All right, now what's next? <laughs> Walk them off. Baby with, what? What are you looking at? <laughs> What's oh. your problem? <laughs> so many things to say. Okay. <laughs> what do we got? Joan, here? I bet you have fur on you all the time, right? I, you, I do. Why do you wear yeah. black with all these animals? All, that's just all showcase over. the animal. Uh huh. <laughs> so I just disappear because they're really the stars of the show. Oh, Tell us about this cutie. is tiny, and tiny is also a pygmy goat. And what's amazing <laughs> is to take these animals that have had really rough starts in life and yeah. look how wonderful they become. They love kids and people. They're, they're like people in the sense that after they've been hurt, they don't trust again, right? That's yeah. right. Yeah. And so there's a whole staff of people. This facility is 165 acres. <laughs> it's wow. it outside of St. Louis, and there's an indoor arena and, and classrooms for kids uh -huh. to learn how to respect and work with these animals. So there's summer camps, all kinds of things. And so a kid can sponsor an animal if they can't have one here in the city, and they can go on the ranch cam and see these animals Cute. every day. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. cool. We got a couple more before. Okay. Why don't you stay on this side so you don't have to walk yeah, around? Well, that yeah, that would be a good idea. Do -si -do. <laughs> this is Quackers. Quackers. Yeah. And what makes this duck unique? Well, this duck was abandoned. Now, one okay. of the things, I've you never know, we do on this color. I know. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah. So we we soft, just yeah. got through Easter, right? Yeah. And so people buy the, the bunnies and the ducks and the oh. chickens. And, and then, then they don't take care of and them. And then yeah. when they're kind of done with them, they turn them loose. Well, the domestic duck such as this, not a wild duck, isn't really well equipped to make it in the, in the wild, wild. Mm -hmm. they fall prey to predators. They find difficulties foraging, and you know there's a pecking order mm -hmm. yes. amongst waterfowl. So if we put them in a pond with other waterfowl, they can get sure. attacked or, or picked on. So the best thing is if if you have an animal that you can't take care of, get it to uh, a humane facility where mm -hmm. they can find an appropriate home and adopt it. And that so these beautiful. animals, they get adopted oh, out oh. into caring homes. Oh my All right, gosh. I think it's time for Here's the, the llama. For your mama. For your mama. So oh, if, your mama, if your mama oh. needs a llama. He's got an overbite. Like that, that, now this, that one, <laughs> this one seriously needs a little dental care. An orthodontist. Yeah, an orthodontist. Actually, it's a special needs animal because it was born with a crooked jaw and it had yeah. tooth problems. Oh, poor baby. And so it received the veterinary care to provide for, for its disability. Because sometimes they can't eat because of it, right? Exactly. Yeah, its name eat. is Mama. Oh, it really is his mama. Oh, That's good. Yes, I love right this there. mama. It is such a loving, loving creature. Why don't you adopt it? it? Do not kiss you that tooth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling you. Actually, it's not it pretty. Nice to sniff you. It uses its tooth to knock on the window of the classroom oh, to get attention. Oh my God! And yeah, the little know. goat you saw sleeps on its back. They what is it? How much is it to, to, uh, to sponsor? To the sponsorships run from $25 up to $2,500, depending upon how long and whether it's a special needs large animal yeah. or a smaller animal like a duck or a chicken. So they're very reasonable. You get a certificate, mm. you get a framed photo, and a fact sheet about your animal, and you can watch it and see all the work that goes on at Long Meadow right there in St. Louis Aww, on the ranch camp. She is sweet. Isn't she sweet? Yeah, she is. And she goes in anywhere and she loves people so the kids oh. don't care that she's not perfect and you know that because well you're that's what it's about party animals is just like exactly. that you don't have to be perfect to be special oh that's Joan, fantastic thank you. and thanks for all you do thank that's you really it's lovely work. to see terrific you work. again thank you. i'm going to give you a party animals